how are you? All right, uh, we are here to work on our signature for June. Um, and I will be honest with you, at the time of filming this, I'm not done with May yet. It is actually the beginning of May. I'm filming this quite a bit ahead because I'm getting ready yet again to do more construction at my house, in case you didn't know yet. So um, I don't know how loud, noisy, or obnoxious it's going to be, or how long for sure it's going to take. So I thought I would get these videos done ahead of time if I could. I will probably be adding some videos either to YouTube with the hashtag MyYear2017 or directly to the Facebook group um, so that showed uh, flips of my progress not only for May but for June. So if you are not a member of the Facebook group and you'd like to be or my other Facebook group or you'd like to shop in my Etsy shop and support my channel or send me happy mail or send me an email, any of that, all that stuff's in the description so check it out, okay? This is the um, uh, setup video for my year 2017 over on Facebook. This is my insert for June that's going to go in my journal. Um, right now, this is April and May, and look how fat it is. <laughs> I keep thinking I can get three months in here at a time, but yeah, that's just not happening. <laughs> so here is um, June. Now, our prompt from June is growth, which is a really interesting prompt. Yes, I love the idea of this prompt. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to find a section to tip in our book club list and find something to tip it in on. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I've got some random bits and pieces and bits and bobs and different things. Scraps of paper. Let me see what I can find that might work. Okay, so these are um, last uh, month I did a live um, Wednesday broadcast where we did watercoloring on the jelly plate. And so these are some of the prints that we did. I'm thinking to cut one of these up and stick it in there, which I think is a great idea. I kind of like this one because I don't know what about that says growth to me. Either that one or this one. I kind of like, I kind of like this one. Let's do that one. <clears throat> just put that there. So obviously this is too big. So we need to cut this because that's uh, way too big. <clears throat> Ordinarily I would just give it a good old whack with the scissors, but I think that um, it's probably prudent for me not to do that. So I'm going to cut it about three and a half, I think. Yep, that'll work. I'm going to cut out my book list um, doodle. This is a free doodle download that's here in the uh, My Year 2017 Facebook group. Um, if you're not on Facebook, then um, why aren't you? And why aren't you on the, in the group? You don't have to do anything else on Facebook, just be part of the Facebook group. Anyway, for those of you that are, you can get this free. It's in the files. There's a number of different ones. I always use the one that says book list, but there's a number of different ones. And you could use them for anything. You could use them for grocery shopping lists or, you know, your monthly to-do list or, you know, really anything. i use some tape runner. <clears throat> and I'm going to stick that on the back of this and I'm going to put it a little bit to the right or at least I'm going to try to, okay, because we're going to tip this in. So let's get some tape on there. This is decorative masking tape. Works great for tip-ins because you don't have to use um, glue. You don't have to worry about it not being sticky enough. Some of the washi tapes, which I use occasionally, you've seen me use them, are great and they're pretty and all, but some of them aren't super sticky. So you have to have put glue underneath and on top of them sometimes. And the masking tape's just a little easier. When I'm feeling lazy, I like the masking tape. Okay. A little piece up here. There we go. All right, so that works. I like that. 
All right, so I have some random bits and pieces here. This is an old, like, watercolor sample from a live broadcast, I think. Um, I think it was alcohol markers and alcohol. I don't know. This is from an old live broadcast, though. That I know for sure. So I'm going to actually use it. It's just a random sample that, you know, I never throw these things away. <laughs> Because, you know, I could maybe use it for something. So I'm going to stick it right there. And this month is all about growth. And it kind of is an extension of last month's spring theme. Um, and But this month you could um, use the similar symbols to last month to symbolize growth and a new beginning and a new start. Um, whether it's personal growth or artistic growth or something else in your life that you're striving to achieve. I love that. And I also have some um, bumblebees on here. To me, those also symbolize growth. And so here we go. We're going to get that off and use this one too in here somewhere. Let's find a spot for it. I think I want to use it back here somewhere. Like maybe right there. I don't want to put too much because as the month goes along, as you all know by now, you know, I collect bits and pieces and I use them in my journals and it starts to get filled up with different things and events in my life, which I love. Okay, and this is just Elmer's Extreme Glue. Okay, what else do we have here? I don't know why I like this weird little circle thing, but I do. Again, this is just some random scrap. I think this is from when we were doing the crayon monoprints. As was this one. So let's cut both of these out. You don't have to save all these little bitty scraps, but this just goes to show that you can use anything, anything to decorate your journal. It doesn't have to be expensive stuff that's from the store or fancy stuff. Okay. And then I'm going to get out my Bible gel highlighters. I like this blue one. The Bible Gel High Gliders I use a lot. Um, you can pick them up, of course, online at Amazon. You can probably also find them if you have a local religious store that sells Bibles um, and journaling Bibles and the, and the like. You probably can get them there.
This is just titanium white acrylic paint. This isn't even in, anything expensive, it's just very inexpensive paint. So I want you to just go out this month, get your signatures ready for the month, and your pages. Have fun with it, do some decorating, think about a new start and growth in your personal life maybe, or in your expression of art, and or whatever the word growth means to you and work on creating something that will allow you to express that this month I'm really impatient I don't really want to wait for stuff to dry <laughs> I hate waiting for things to dry. I like that. So go out and have some fun with it. Find some bits and pieces and start working on your pages for the month. And I will be back with the next video. I hope that you are having a great day and a great week. Um, don't forget to check out the video description and like, share, and subscribe if you're not part of the My Year 2017 Facebook group but you'd like to join. Again, the link's in the description. And um, the most important thing, go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.